And thank you for staying with us. Paradox has actually provided some on-site medical consulting at some of the nation's most largest publicized events. Now with events canceled during the pandemic, Paradox is instead present on construction sites, offices, and essential businesses throughout the country and New York City. And we're pleased to be joined by none other than the Chief Executive Officer of Paradox Worldwide, who's gonna tell us a little bit more, Alex Pollock. And we thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, and so uh, it's great to have this conversation talking about the work of Paradox. Uh, and so for people who don't know, uh, acquaint us a little bit with Paradox. Um, so our company is relatively young. Um, we started back in 2011. I myself am a paramedic in New York City um, since 1998. Um, and we provide event medical services um, for events throughout the country. Um, a lot of music festivals, sporting events. Um, we're based here in uh, Brooklyn. So we provide basically on-site services. So we build mobile hospitals. We're at a bunch of the stadiums. Um, and then we travel throughout the country doing music festivals and large sporting events. And we can build, have anything from a single EMT to basically build out a full emergency room um, with the emergency room doctors, nurses, um, which basically alleviates the burden on the local municipality, especially in a rural area that doesn't have that much infrastructure. Yeah. And so when we talk about COVID-19, obviously a lot of people have been affected. So for you, what kind of shift uh, have you had to make with COVID-19? Um, so that's a good question. Our last large event, because um, we're really based off the event industry, um, our last large event was in Florida um, the first weekend of March. Um, it actually was a COVID-free event, um, but it was before the world um, kind of fell apart. So we have, um, when we came back to New York, uh, COVID just started um, rearing its head. And um, we, as a rapidly deployable medical solution, and since we're all medical workers and licensed in New York, um, we helped with the FEMA response. We, a bunch of our doctors worked in the emergency departments. We really helped wherever we can. I personally went and worked on an ambulance because I'm still a New York State paramedic. Mm -hmm. And um, then we started doing um, a lot of essential businesses screening and health questions and health screenings and temperature checks at a lot of essential businesses that had to remain open, like um, uh, Fresh Direct, ShopRite, um, you know, government buildings. And um, so we were basically like now the new security for uh, entering the business. And um, as the phases started to reopen, um, phase one, phase two, we started uh, kind of putting ourselves into that infrastructure as the first line of safety. So whether it's temperature checks or um, health questionnaires, health screenings, um, construction sites, um, uh, right now we're really big in the movie and film production as they're starting to reopen. Mm -hmm. And we're also uh, doing a lot of COVID testing. Um, so we're doing that for, we're doing quite a lot of COVID tests these days. I do not want to swab anyone's nose or brain anymore. I'm really? Totally, yeah. Um, it's been, it's been interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. But being a part of that, I mean, honestly, you know, we laugh, but it is, it's so needed, right? Um, and so what's it like for you being able to bridge that gap, fill that need in a time when, you know, we need testing and we need to keep our community safe? Um, that's a great question, um, especially now with, you know, the, the higher end clientele, you know, construction sites were one of the first things that opened after essential businesses like supermarkets right. and everything else, you know, fresh direct people still had to get their, their food. Um, but, um, you know, construction in New York is a very big industry and those had to open, people had to come back to work. But now in the film and uh, production and fashion industry, um, it's super important, you know, people want to return to work and they're taking all the safety precautions that they can, that they possibly can. And, uh, you know, having a medical person on site besides for temperature checks, we're doing, um, besides for your general public that we're testing, you know, the contracts we have with testing the general public like nursing homes or um, some of the other private contracts we have or public contracts, um, we're doing also a lot of testing, whether it's a uh, lab-based PCR or on-site testing for these productions, because a lot of people, first of all, want to 
be able to work in a very safe environment, but also people who have, you know, might not have ventured out of their house or might not had, have had the need to venture out of their house, uh, celebrities or people in the high end movie and production world are now doing it for the first time, but they want to make sure that everyone is safe and they're doing it properly. Mm-hmm. Talk about your organization. I mean, we talk about the growth. You said you're relatively new, but yet and still, uh, when you talk about revenue, almost $5 million in revenue uh, before COVID-19, right? And that's a major accomplishment given the fact that you have not yet, uh, you know, cross, have you crossed the 10-year threshold? No. Um, nope, not yet. We're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it definitely took a lot of years off my life. I can tell you that much. <laughs> it's not easy starting your own business. Um, I had more hair. Yeah. <laughs> my beard yeah. wasn't white. I think COVID <laughs> might have had a little to do with that. But with everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, the good thing is at least I didn't do stress eating, so I definitely didn't get the COVID nineteen. Um, yeah. I lost weight. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it's been. Uh, we definitely lost our event industry, and that was a huge portion of our business. Um, mm-hmm. We've always done the smaller things, even if it was something small from like you know a small small i mean might be nationally televised event but it wouldn't be large on the medical side you know if you have 100 security guards you usually would have one paramedic um but the large sporting venues and music festivals have basically disappeared so that was a heavy hit on our revenue stream um right now um we're getting hired by industries we've, we've always been involved in but on the sidelines. So we would be mostly for a fashion show when the show is actually going on, but still photo shoots or just a photo, you know, small production would not normally have a paramedic with 20 people. Now they all have paramedics. And I don't know if it's coming from SAG or a regulatory agency, or it's just precautions and people doing things in a careful way, but the industry has just, expanded like crazy uh, we're getting requests for all over the country literally all over the country um we we're doing hundreds and hundreds of shoots if not close to a thousand shoots a day i mean a week sorry Woo. <laughs> a week right. Um, right and and so for before we go i didn't ask the question about well how do you come up with your staff and how do you how do you make that happen um so You know, doctors are doctors, paramedics are paramedics, nurses are nurses. They're licensed, you know, in whatever state, but they usually have a day-to-day job and it's pretty boring. It's not the most glamorous job. I know now healthcare workers are the new heroes, but, you know, you never get to go to the Met Gala as a doctor. I don't care how famous you are. Um, So we've always had a glamorous side of the job. Um, So we've never had an issue with staffing. We've always had tens of thousands of applications because everyone wants to work the events and the cool shows. Um, so it's never been an issue getting the personnel. It's more like it's come to us as we gain social media following, as we got, you see the wall behind me. I, I love my wall of fame. Um, uh, the more media we get, yeah. Yeah, and it's a, it's a great work that you guys are doing at Paradox. We got to leave it there, but I want to tell people, uh, definitely, thank you, first of all, Alex, and want to tell people if you want more information, please go to their website. Uh, their website is www.paradoxworldwide.com. Alex, again, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Alex, so much for the opportunity. It was a pleasure. Uh, great. Everyone be Good. safe. Get swapped. Yeah. That's right. Be safe, get swapped, but not by Alex. (laughs) All right. Uh, Yeah, I'm too tired, too. (laughs) I I know. Brothers are working hard. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll we're taking a quick break. We've got more shows. Stay with us. We'll come right back. Thank you. Right after this. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.